Hello fans, collectors, and investors, welcome back to Iconic Baseball. I am Iconic Al, and today we're going to jump back into the countdown at number 61. Now this is an elite offensive producer. One of the top five to ever play the third base position. A career Atlanta Brave with a 303 career batting average, 401 on base. His OPS was 930, OPS plus 141. His, his offensive stats are just mind-numbing. He walked more than he struck out. He hit 300 from both sides of the plate. Still, the only switch hitter to ever accomplish that feat. He was the 1999 NL MVP and was on the 1995 world champion Atlanta Braves. Um, he was elected to the Hall of Fame on his first ballot with 97% of the vote. I'm talking about the great Chipper Jones. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes. You're out at the old ball game. Larry Chipper Jones, one of the game's all-time greats. His dad, Larry Sr., idolized Mickey Mantle and raised his son to be a switch hitter. A very, very, very dominant switch hitter. Now, like I mentioned in the intro, Chipper Jones was one of the most proficient switch hitters in baseball history, hitting 303 as a lefty and 304 as a righty the only player to ever do that. His 303 career batting average, 401 career on base percentage, 930 OPS, 141 OPS plus, speaks for itself. I mean, he did everything offensively that you could ask of a player. He was a consistent but not elite defensive third baseman. But when it came to being a tough out, he walked more than he struck out. 1,512 walks to 1,409 strikeouts. A striking number for such a prolific power hitter. He hit 468 home runs. 2,726 hits and won the MVP award in 1999. He won a batting title. He won a world championship in 1995 with those amazing Braves with maybe the best rotation in baseball history. But he was always a tough out. And if you heard interviews with Chipper Jones throughout his career, the number one thing you, you hear from him is, I always wanted to be a tough out. And he was always a tough out. <laughs> it was never easy to get Chipper Jones out. Great discipline. And uh, what else can you say? 85.3 war puts him where I believe he belongs as in the top five among all third basemen all time. So let's look at some Chipper Jones items here. These are mostly all items I've had for quite some time. Um, the rookie card on the left I added more recently, a, few, a couple years ago. But the two items on the right I've had for <laughs> a long time. So let's start with this more recent ad. This is a 91 Bowman. This is my favorite Chipper Jones rookie card just because it reminds me of a 1950s baseball card. I mean, look at that pose. The left-handed swing right there. Epic. An epic finish to that swing. It, it almost reminds you of a Mickey Mantle card. It's almost modeled after a Mickey Mantle card. Um, and this is a BGS 9.5. In my opinion, you know, these high-pop wax cards there's plenty of them out there on the pop reports, and uh, so you, you can be picky. Um, I, I love finding BGS 9.5s that look perfect, because you can find them generally at a much lower price point than P PSA 9s. And I don't really understand that, because I, <laughs> I really like Beckett slabs. I, I always have. So that's just a beautifully centered, 50-50, dead centered, four sharp corners, it's really a perfect example of this 1991 Bowman Chipper Jones rookie card. And yeah, he has about 
six or seven or eight rookie cards. But of all of those, this, in my opinion, is his nicest. Just the color, the pose, the eye appeal of this card. It, it takes the cake when it comes to all the chipper rookie cards. His most valuable would be the 91 Tops Desert Storm Parallel. And that's, you know, out of the realm of most collectors. <laughs> and to be honest, I'm not a big fan of 91 Tops, uh, the Desert Storm. I, I recognize the scarcity, but I would never pay the prices that the graded Desert Storm cards command. Um, I honestly like the look of this card much better at a much lower price point. All right, Chuka Sign Baseball. This is a ball I've had in my collection for a long time. Uh, this was a Steiner uh, Sign Baseball. It's had the wrapping on it since I purchased it probably 15 years ago and uh, maybe longer than that, maybe 20. It's got the Playing Days Chipper Jones autograph on there. Sorry if it's a little dim. This is on a National League Baseball. Leonard Coleman with a Steiner hollow. Chipper Jones has a, a habit of putting the 10 inside the J. That's kind of his more modern signature that he developed during his playing days and beyond. He kind of always puts that 10 in the J there. And these Steiner Time baseballs always come with one of these certificates with the hologram there. And then this might be my coolest thing, and I'm kind of looking for more information on it. it I think it might be his earliest autograph, his earliest autograph issue. This is a 2000, I'm sorry, 1992. It's a 1992 Durham Bowls. Chipper Jones autograph through Classic Best. Um, this is, you can tell it's an earlier autograph because it doesn't have the 10 in the middle of the J. It was kind of before he did that. So it's it's a true pre-rookie autograph from before Chipper Jones was even in the major leagues, which I think makes it kind of special. And <laughs> I love that he's on the Durham Bulls because one of my favorite baseball movies is Bull Durham. And uh, it was really cool when I saw this. Like, wow, this is perfect. He's, you know, like Nuke Lelouch. He's on uh, the Durham Bulls. And I love that about this card, showing Chipper Jones on the Durham Bulls. Shows him as a very young player in the minor leagues. And this was marketed through a company called Treat Pro Autographs. And I had never heard of it, but it was distributed in this folder, kind of a hard folder. And it has a certificate with it, backed by Hall of Famer Brooks Robinson. So, shout out to Jake. Legends never die. Two of his favorite players, <laughs> Chipper Jones and Brooks Robinson, are involved in this release. So, if you didn't know about this, well, now you do. But this is a COA from back in 92, 93 time period, back when Chipper Jones was still with the Durham Bulls. This is the certificate authenticating that signature. And on the back of this, you take this out of the folder. It shows Chipper Jones' current stats. So that's sort of, you can kind of date it based on that because you have 90 stats. I assume at single A, 91 stats. I assume maybe at double A. And then you have 92 stats at triple A and you can kind of see what kind of production he was putting up. And then this, this release came out, presumably 92, 93 time period before he broke into the majors. And now he had four plate appearances with the Braves in 93, but then he got injured. So he didn't really have his first season in the majors until 95. So this truly is, I believe, a pre-rookie autograph. And uh, so, Kind of cool, you know? It's different than having, you know, you see all, all over eBay these days, Chipper Jones rookie cards that are, you know, signed modern signatures on old cards. It's very common these days. Um, but you don't see a pre-rookie signature on a pre-rookie card too often. So I love this card. 
for that reason. This was signed well before Chipper Jones was Chipper Jones. And that's why I love this card. 92 Classic Best. Well, anyway, <laughs> that's what I have for Chipper Jones. Thank you for joining me, as always, on the countdown. Shout out to Jake. Legends never die. Shout out to Chipper Jones and Brooks Robinson. <laughs> and until next time, everyone, keep collecting and stay iconic.